started playing AFL when I was six years old and played right through to I was 27. Just enjoyed being around mates, creating new friendships and yeah, just the competitive side of things. I played football that day and uh, had a few beers after football and um, just jumped into a pool that was too shallow that I didn't know at the time and yeah, unfortunately left me a C2 uh, quadriplegic. They took us into a room and told us then to the extent of what Ryan's injuries were, which was, 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 was big, it was huge, it was such a shock to all of us. The first few months in hospital were very dark, scary and lonely. I had a lot of time trapped in my own head, my own mind and yeah, some pretty bad thoughts went through my mind. Visiting Ryan in hospital in his dark days was, as a mum was it was just so hard. I, I couldn't wait to get there to be with him, but to actually walk out. Living with a spinal cord injury is extremely difficult. I wake up every morning and want to get out of bed, use my arms and legs, be able to feed myself, scratch my back, bend down and pat my dogs, but I've had that taken away from me ever since having a spinal cord injury. Well, Ryan lives back home with us now. Um, we've had to renovate our home just so Ryan could get around a bit easier. And life's hard, it is really hard. I've given up work to care for Ryan along with his carers. The biggest challenge was letting, letting people in and doing everything for, for him as a young guy to, to just, just be, be, be Ryan and, and do what he normally always done to now having to rely on me or, or somebody else to do everything for him now. Rehab for me is everything. It's something very similar to what my old life used to be before. I suffered a spinal cord injury where I was very fit, active and always moving. So being able to get into the gym and be able to move and just feel my body actually moving again um, also helps my mind, mental health as well as my physical side of things. I'm so, so proud of him. He, he's out in, in, in society, he's going to the gym. He, he wants he wants to live now. He, he wants to get better. He wants to walk and use, and use his legs and use his arms again. And yeah, he's just the most amazing young guy. And now he wants to help other people. He wants to try and influence and show people that even though he was told that he would never do hardly anything at all but sit in a chair. He's, he's proven that he can do something and he just wants to improve his life and, and other people like him to, to get better. A cure for paralysis would be everything. It would give not just myself but everybody else out there that's suffered a spinal cord injury a second chance at life and be able to move their arms again and maybe even eventually be able to stand up and go for a walk again. Your life can change in a matter of seconds and if we find a cure for paralysis then it just opens up the world for so many other cures. If, if enough people get behind it, I'm sure we are so close now to finding this cure that, that it, it would just be such a life change for so, so many people.